The first part in working with flex is learning how to attach flex between two objects manually. In this tutorial, we're going to snap flex between the end of the squirt around and the grill neck we have here. We're going to go into our architectural bin, and we've already grabbed and placed a flex icon in that bin. If you do not have your flex there, you must go into your library icon, and then go to the architectural section and pull it out. And there's separate tutorials on making bins for architectural items. Here what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to grab the flex and click once. And then Practicad is going to ask us at the command line to start flex position. Now regardless of what size diameter I have currently on my crosshairs, the second I snap to the first point, it is going to resize that flex to fit. So I do not need to worry about a flex of a specific size. Once we attach to the first point, Practicad is going to open up a little flex collar window. There's only two options here, to insert a spin collar and keep it checked, or to keep it unchecked. When you're attaching flex to the end of existing duct, as in this scenario, we keep it unchecked. Soon in other tutorials, we'll explain what to do when it's checked. If we do have it unchecked, all we need to do is snap to the end and then press OK. There's nothing more. When you press OK, the flex collar window will close. Now you can see the flex is being stretched to my crosshairs. All I need to do is grab onto a grill and snap to the end point, which would be at the center of the grill. It's important to make sure that you have your object snaps on. Obviously, you can see in the bottom, we've got object snaps turned on. If you don't, you're not going to be able to snap to the grill. If you've got them turned on, you can click once. Practicad's going to stretch out the flex, and you've now successfully placed flex between two entities.